Welcome to the workshop uh, for the drum pilot, a guide to playing the Vuka and the Holla. And today I want to discuss uh, the chapter about uh, accompanying yourself uh, basically with um, your foot. So uh, we want to play uh, a rhythm. In this case, we, uh, we play the Malfut. And um, we will accompany ourselves with a, a foot. You can you use a tambourine on your foot or some bells or I use a, a hi-hat. And uh, we want to play uh, the pulse, which means uh, it's on the beats one and two, because uh, the malfut is a, a two-four rhythm. Yeah? One and two and one and two. So on the counts one and two, we will tap the foot. And uh, why we do this is this will make our uh, rhythmical understanding very solid and um, will actually help us to, to develop a, a really good uh, yeah, feel. Okay, And uh, it will make your playing overall uh, a bit uh, more yeah, um, sophisticated and uh, stable. Okay, so um, this uh, is how it will sound. Okay, so this can be difficult in the beginning, so I will help you to, to get it done. So uh, if we look at page 22 of the drum pilot, um, we see a notation of the Malfut and under uh, it we have um, uh, 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 the letter F which stands for foot yeah and uh, the position of this letter uh, will help you so it the first uh, foot is right under the doom so we have uh, the doom on the first beat together with the foot so left foot or right foot depends what you choose doesn't matter and uh, right hand comes together okay so we will play just on the on the first count now just for practice so yeah shouldn't be too difficult so then the second uh, foot tap is on the two and you can see in the notation um, which stroke comes uh, together with the foot. It will be the index finger. So in the notation you have these uh, symbols like the, the arrow pointing up uh, means the index finger. So um, it's the index finger right after the first slap. Okay, so we will play until this point. So okay, so there is the index finger together with the foot. Okay, again. And now we try to continue. Okay, so the, the only question you have to answer to yourself is uh, which of the strokes comes together with the, with the hi-hat, with the foot, okay? So the first beat is together with the right hand and the second uh, beat, the second um, foot tap is together with the index finger after the step. Okay. You should practice this uh, for some minutes to really get comfortable and also uh, start slow or even slower. Really be conscious about the, uh, uh, the the hitting the same time the foot with the with the doom or the index finger. Then uh, slowly uh, you can try to, to play a little faster.
and uh, maybe then also you you will feel uh, the difference yeah because um, it's a very syncopated beat and to play the pulse is kind of a counter rhythmic so the the accents of the of the mouth loop they don't uh, fall together with all the pulses so it's a nice uh, a nice uh, exercise for you to to improve your your rhythmical feel so i'll pl play it a little faster so you will really hear um, the effect yeah and don't be frustrated if it uh, doesn't work uh, right in the beginning it is difficult definitely so uh, you have to practice a bit but it it's really worth it so we will look on the next page page 23 if you have any question just write it in the chat room i will try to answer so we have here uh, page 23 and again we will play the malfo but this time we will play on the uh, offbeat which means uh, the ends so we have one and two and three and four and and together we will play the malfouf with it. It will sound like this. So it's a completely different feel, it's the offbeat, which makes this uh, feel. And again, we will ask our, ourselves the question, which finger or which sound comes together with the foot in this case. So we will look at the notation and uh, it's pretty clear written down. So we have the, um, the first foot on the offbeat on the one end, like one and two and one and two and one and on the ring finger. Yes, it's the first ring finger of the malfu on the one end which comes together with the hi-hat in our example. So we play until this position. Okay, so do index ring together with the hi-hat. Okay, then we continue. The next stroke will be the slap. Okay. Do it like three, five times only until this position. Until you feel comfortable. Then we continue. The next stroke will be the index finger, still without the foot in this position. After the index comes the ring finger. And the next stroke will be the slap, and this will be together with the second uh, offbeat of our foot. So, yeah. So the first offbeat is together with the ring finger, the second offbeat is together with the slap. And then we complete the, the rhythm just one more stroke with the index. And really listen to the hi-hat, that it, it sounds like a really constant uh, pulse going on. Yeah. You really uh, will experience uh, what I mean if you practice it. Okay, so yeah, this was the offbeat. And then we continue on the same page, page 23, um, the, the second 
exercise here is um, yeah, it's uh, three, um, it's four groups of three and one group of four. So one, two, three, 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 four. Yeah. It's a very common motive. So right, left, left, right, left, left, right, left, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, left. Okay. again we will accompany ourselves with the foot with the hi-hat it sounds like this uh, notice that the right hand is an accent so these are ghost notes quiet strokes and the right hand is loud okay Try to make the difference between loud strokes and quiet stroke um, very very harsh very very big contrast yeah here very loud and here very quiet so now but how we uh, do it with the foot again the same strategy we look where is the foot coming together with, with which sound or which hand on the drum so First stroke, we have a accent which comes together with a hi hat. Yeah. By the way, um, the strategy I choose here is um, to yeah to to go um, bit by bit, so or, or stroke by stroke. We play the whole pattern, we keep timing, but we add one more uh, pulse. You know, uh, after we we feel comfortable uh, with the with the pulse before, so just the first pulse on the one should be easy. Okay, so then the next pulse on the two, we look at the notes and it's together with the index. Yeah, we see the the arrow pointing up, which means index. And the index comes together with the hi-hat. So, and notice the hi-hat comes right after, one sixteenth note after the second accent, okay? Really feel the position of this accent. And then we play the whole phrase, but we only play the two taps in the foot. Sorry. One, two. beat is beat three and we look at the notes and on beat three we have a ring finger ghost note together with the foot so it's yeah. pattern but we just play three beats in the in the left foot one two three notice here the next accent as the um, after beat three comes an accent right after it, one sixteenth note after the beat 
we have an accent. Very important to feel this position of the accent, okay? Okay, so then we continue for the last uh, foot tap on beat four. If we look, it comes together with our right hand accent and uh, yeah, should be uh, easy. So we just try to get on this position. One, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four. And when we complete the pattern, one, two, three, four. 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 A little faster. So, this is the first exercise. Then, the second exercise, it's kind of the same pattern happening, but it's displaced one sixteenth note to the right. So, we still have the, the foot on the beat one, two, three, and four, but our pattern in the hand changed a bit. So above the pattern, you see the numbers which express the structure. So we have one, three, 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 two, four. Okay. In the notation, it will be clear. So, but I will play just here without the foot. I will play just with the, uh, without the foot. So I will play it without the foot just. So we have a, uh, the accent one sixteenth note after the one. One, two, three, four, one. Yeah? And then we add the foot. So on the first beat, the quiet note with the index, we have the, the hi hat. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. Second foot tap comes on uh, beat two together with the right hand. Right hand. One, two. One, two, three, four. Sorry. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. The third accent, uh, the third foot tap is on three, which is together. We look at the notes. It's together with the index. So, one, two, three. One, two, three. The accent in the right hand comes right before the foot tap with the hat. So, one, two, three. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. We continue. Um, we have the next on beat four, which comes together with the right hand. Easy, yeah? So, one, two, three, four. 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 So we have a nice uh, pattern now. Nicely did.
this place, we will start on the second 16th note after the one. We continue this uh, the system and we replace this um, this phrase one more 16th to the right, so it will start on the one and. One and two and three and four. One and two and three and four. Yeah, structure is two, three, 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 one, four. So, together with the foot. One, two, three, four. 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 same phrase or kind of phrasing but it's displaced and the end is always four so we end up in a four four bar it's a very useful phrase uh, if you uh, want to solo this phrase will like um, influence your abilities uh, while you solo especially uh, when you practice with the um, with the hi-hat with the, with the foot pulse uh, you will have a very solid timing a very solid feel Okay, so these are um, the, the exercise for tapping the foot while you play and uh, I will improvise a little bit with tapping the foot now. After the time uh, practicing this, you will feel it will really help you play in general because it's a uh, it like cleans up your playing a bit. So whatever you play, if you are able to tap your foot along with what you play, it will be more correct. Okay, the timing will be better, and it will be also uh, better to understand for you and also for the listener. Yeah. So um, this was it for, for this uh, workshop, um, keeping the time by tapping the foot. Uh, the next chapter in the book would be the rhythm library, where um, uh, we explore just the, the most common rhythms uh, for the Buka. There are a lot of traditional rhythms uh, in the Middle East, and we, um, yeah, we, we look at the different uh, different rhythms and time signatures and also some variations it's a, a very very uh, important thing to know if you play this instrument and also to play together with other musicians because uh, yeah they demand this to you know if you want a, a piece uh, a traditional piece with a traditional rhythm you should know this rhythm and know how to play it so this will be the next lesson see you there if you have any questions, write me, write me today, you can also write me tomorrow and I will try to, to, to answer, like if you, if, you, if you practice and some questions come to your mind afterwards, feel free to, to contact me and ask and uh, I, will, I will answer. Bye bye.